G'day, g'day, g'day. Paul here on the highway. Pulled into a truck stop and found this pile of millet sitting on the ground. Obviously they've had an accident. Trucking has dropped several bags of millet on the ground and when we pulled in here at first all the cockies were coming to feed on the millet that's provided. The Lord looks after his own and the birds know where to find it. And I'm talking this morning about living by faith out of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 where Paul writes, We are convinced that even if these bodies we live in are folded up at death like tents, we will still have a God-built home that no human hand has built, which will last forever in the heavenly realm. We inwardly sigh as we live in these physical tents, longing to put on a new body for our life in heaven, in the belief that once we put on our new clothing, we won't find ourselves naked. So while living in this tent, we groan under its burden, not because we want to die, but because we want these new bodies. We crave for all that is mortal to be swallowed up by the eternal life and this is no empty hope for God himself is the one who has prepared us for this wonderful destiny and to confirm this promise he has given us the Holy Spirit like an engagement ring as a guarantee that's why we're always full of courage even while we're at home in the body we're homesick to be with the master for we live by faith not by what we see with our eyes. We live with a joyful confidence, yet at the same time we take delight in the thought of leaving our bodies behind to be at home with the Lord. So whether we live or die, we make it our life's passion to live our lives pleasing to Him. For one day we'll all be openly revealed before Christ on his throne so that each of us will be duly recompensed for our actions done in this life whether good or worthless so there it is in black and white in 2 corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 for one day we will all be openly revealed before christ on his throne so that each of us will be duly recompensed for our action done in life whether good or worthless Whatever we do, we're going to face the judgment throne of Jesus Christ one day. So we need to concentrate on getting our lives right before God, accepting him as our Lord and Saviour, listening to him. He says, my sheep hear my voice. Follow his words, get his words into our heart and live our lives pleasing to God. So there from the millet heap on the ground... Look at that, millet going to waste, but not going to waste because the birds of the air are up there watching and waiting for us to leave this campsite so they can come and continue to eat. You get into the Word, let the Word of God get into you. We'll see you later. Bye now.